Good day, everybody. My name is Jim Kukril, and you're watching The Daily Flip. And today we're going to talk a little bit about SMS. And SMS is mobile marketing. And I consider marketing, uh, you know, sending text messages and things like that. Uh, I spoke to a person named Jared from a company called Mobile Storm uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I got Jared to put together a few uh, video clips for us today. We're going to get them on satellite here. And we're going to bring him up and ask him a few questions about mobile, uh, about SMS. In case you don't know what it is, it's huge over in the rest of the world, in the United States. Not so huge yet, but we're getting to that point. So, um, you know, it's big for the younger crowd. If you have kids, my kids are a little bit too young to do the mobile thing. Obviously, it's six years old. I'm not letting my, my daughter have a, a phone. But um, can imagine what it's going to be in 10 years from now. So... Uh, let's talk a little bit with Jared about uh, SMS. And uh, here, what's the first question? The first question is, who are you and uh, what's SMS? So here's Jared. SMS is, stands for Short Message Service, and it was developed by Telenor um, in the Scandinavian region. It was developed to send customer service messages to their to people's cell phones so that it can kind of uh, people don't have to call in as much to get information and help and it slowly became a really great way to do marketing and to, to be able to send also other types of functional messages and it'll, you can send up to about 160 characters it obviously there's no pictures it, there's not a lot of design aspect to it so I always say it's really a you know function over form type of message it's great to be able to send out last minute reminders and alerts and, and things of that nature although nowadays a lot of people are using it for mobile marketing and that can be um, you know done in a number of ways so second question for Jared is if I'm a marketer how can I use SMS in my marketing efforts well the first thing you have to do is you have to get permission and you can do that either by allowing somebody to text in uh, a, a keyword such as, um, I don't know, the word vote, like on American Idol, to a short code, a five digit code, like 99158. And by doing so, a message can come back to the phone saying, Would you like to, to join the mobile club? And that's called a double opt in. This can also happen on the web with a form where you could put in your cell phone number, have a message come to your phone, and reply. And that way, um, you're, the person you're subscribing to knows that it's your phone and you have it on, and you, have it on you. Um, so obviously nobody can sign up for you. So getting permission is really important. And once you've got somebody's permission, the ways that you can run mobile marketing campaigns, you, you can do a number of things. You can use the cell phone as a way of collecting data. So you can ask somebody what's your first name, what's your email address, and they can actually text that back and that can then update their, their record within the database. You can use it to do vo voting, polling, trivia, sweepstakes, uh, text in to win type. You can even have games. Um, people send out content like daily Bible verses or horoscope and those types of information. Nowadays you can have something called premium SMS where you can actually charge people to receive content like a video or a, a game or a text message and that charge shows up on their cell phone bill. So there's a lots of different ways that you can actually use um, the, the, the cell phone in, within mobile marketing campaigns. And the third question for Jared is how much does it cost to do this stuff? I mean, you know, is it like a, a cost me an arm and a leg as a small business person or a marketer to get into the SMS business? It really depends upon what you're looking to do. If you want to go with a, a provider that, that has a very simple, easy to use system, you're going to probably pay anywhere between five cents all the way up to 10 cents per message, depending upon how many you send in a month. Obviously, the more you send, the uh, greater discount you're going to get. And then those types of businesses could provide you with their own short code so that you can go ahead um, and you don't have to apply to get a short code. You don't have to register it with carriers and get it certified, which takes a lot of time and money. But if you want to get your own dedicated short code, it could cost, um, you know, there's a, usually a one time setup fee, probably around a couple thousand dollars. Um, it, you would have to pay this, this company called Newstar, which is basically the, the um, the ICANN for domain names, if you will, they kind of uh, control all the short codes and you have to pay them $1,500 a, a quarter if you want a random code like 12374 or uh, if you want a vanity code which spells something out, 
um, then that would be $3,000 a quarter. So that's additional on top of the provider you have to pay for the messages. Um, and then you may at the end of the day want to work with an agency to help you roll out a mobile marketing program that uh, might include mobile coupons, might include you know different f gr games or fun ways to interact with your database and you want to work with somebody that really knows what they're doing. So thank you very much for your time and you can check us out at mobilestorm.com. Thanks Jared, that was pretty cool to have you on. Talk a little bit about SMS, I know it's a new thing that's coming up and mobile marketing is going to be a huge thing. So if you want to see Jared's stuff, go to mobilestorm.com and check it out. I'm Jim Kukrell, and that was today's Daily Flip. The Daily Flip.